so much for tuning in to our You Are Home Live tour of the Northwest Quad. My name is Channing and I will be showing you around today. I'm the senior communication major here on campus and I'm from Springdale, Arkansas, which is right next door to Fayetteville. So if you have any questions today, please comment them throughout the video or even after we go live and we'll be sure to answer those questions for you guys. And behind the camera today, we have Christopher. Yeah, hi, Christopher Spencer. I am the Assistant Director for Marketing and Strategic Communications here at Housing. And it's gonna be Channing and I walking you around the quad and answering your questions. So be sure and let us know if you have any, and also kind of where you're from, because yeah. we're curious. I'm from El Dorado, Arkansas, yeah. as a matter of fact. Yeah. So where are we again? So right now, we are under a pergola. Uh-huh. nice, it gives really nice shade. It is. And we are gonna be today, so the Northwest Quad consists of four separate buildings, so we are going to be in Morgan Hall today, and then behind me is Gatewood Hall, mm -hmm. and this way is the dining hall, which is actually connected to Morgan Hall, so that's super convenient for all mm -hmm. of the Quad residents. So Fulbright Dining Hall will be the main dining hall for any residence hall on the north side of campus. Um, heard it's really good so be sure to check that out there's lots of like little stations where you can say yeah. hey will you uh mix some pasta up for me yeah and they make things. it in front of you which yeah. is super cool um and then up the hill we have harding hall mm -hmm. well, actually then, clark right there oh this is clark that's clark that we see right behind us and then oh, harding right. clark hall. is behind us yeah. yes we can't see harding right now but it's there it's behind us mm -hmm. um and then also kind of to point out where we are on campus so the street behind Morgan Hall, this will be Garland Avenue, and right across the street is Garland Parking Garage, um, mm -hmm. the campus bookstore is right there, so that's super convenient. Um, there is a Walmart on campus, and we call it Small Mart, and fun fact, it's the smallest Walmart in the world, which is super cool that we have that on campus. So that's super convenient if you ever need to grab anything on the go. Um, Hot Walker Health Center is back there too, yeah, so if you have uh, any flu issues or any colds that pop up on you, you can always stop in there and your student fees cover a lot of that stuff. Super convenient. Also in this direction, we have a Club Red, mm -hmm. which is kind of like a gas station. Um, it has like snacks and scantrons are in there. You'll be, I'm sure you'll be buying those for your classes. Um, and there's like drinks, I think there's ice cream in there, so um, that's super nice. There's also a restaurant over there so you're really in a convenient spot on campus um, it's a really really pretty area um, so huge lawn behind you there's yeah, a lot of oh stuff yeah, there. there's also a hammock park over there so if you ever want a hammock on a nice day like today mm -hmm. um, you can rent a hammock from the front desk um, and go hammock right over there so that's super cool um, and unique to the quad yeah. um, we sure uh, we like to call it the quad for Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you bet. So we'll go ahead. Shall we and head inside? Go inside. Yeah. Which hall are we heading into? So we're going to be in Morgan Hall today, mm -hmm. which is the hall with the dining hall connected. Okay. That was our fob system. Oh yeah. Yeah. So every residence hall on campus will have a fobbing system. Mm -hmm. just to be safe and secure so if you ever have friends visiting you or your family comes in town you will have to go downstairs in your hall and um, fob them in because not just anyone can come in the building okay um, so when you first walk into morgan mm -hmm. let me give um, a 360 on this one. yeah this is a really nice community space there's a fireplace um, there's a pool table mm -hmm. and a ping pong table do you play either of those things I'm not good at pool, but I do like ping pong. Okay. It's super fun. I'm not very good, but I try my best. Sure. Um, but if you ever want to rent out equipment like ping pong, paddles, pool sticks, stuff like that, that will all be done at the front desk, which we are going to next. We'll go visit the front desk of yeah. Morgan. Hello. Hey, can we say hello to you? Yeah. Oh, hey. I'm Christy Rollins. I'm the admin specialist. I take care of the quad and I actually take care of Hulk and Futura as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. So what would be some of the things they might come and ask 
students who are coming um, here? I take care of the check-in and mm -hmm. check-out. Okay. Um, and I get all the mail packages for all six hall, all six buildings, mm -hmm. all three halls. Um, I get questions about their mailbox and how to open it, um, our mailing address, any questions about move in or move out that pertains to them scheduling it online, um, sure. taking care of their keys if they lose their keys. So lost key, box, okay, good to know where to go. Well. So I'm the central desk for all of that. Fantastic, you're in good hands if you're, if you're hanging out with her. Yeah, Thank really you. That. You're welcome. All right. It is. And if you're not sure how to open your mailbox, there are posters above. Okay. Um, because they kind of use like a locker combination style. And if you're like me, it's been a while since I've used a locker. So if you forget, there's signs. Sure. So we have about 20 people tuning in right now. We'd love to know where you're coming from. Yeah, please let us know. Yeah. I think we're going to say hello to our CRE. Yeah. So yeah. we are lucky enough to have the CRE for the Northwest Quad join us. Joey. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's going on? Uh, doing well. My name is Joey Gaman. I'm the CRE for the Northwest Quad. A CRE is the Coordinator for Residence Education. Um, basically, what that means is I oversee these four buildings in the Quad: uh, Gatewood, Harding, Morgan, and uh, Clark. Mm -hmm. uh, and my office is located right here behind the mailboxes. You got a lot of uh, what are they called? Door decks, door decks on yeah. there. Yeah. Any that you would point out to us? Um, I don't know. They're all kind funny, of my favorites. I store. have about two hundred from the last. <laughs> Five years now wow. working at Res Life. So oh gosh! I just collect them, and there's a bunch of them that are still stored in my office. So, but those are the best ones. I like them. Yeah, yeah. Amber from uh, Friendswood, Texas, says hello. Hey, Amber. <laughs> Amber, glad you could join us. Will you come along with us while we take the tour? Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. There's some really pretty art on the wall right here. Oh yeah! Let's check that out. Who, do you happen to know who decorated that? Yeah, so our uh, camp assistants right now are the ones that went around and decorated all those. But during the year, our RAs will do those. Okay. Not every month. Nice. So they put a lot of like, typically these are just like aesthetically pleasing, but normally uh, during the school year, they'll put a lot of like educational information on there. Like, hey, uh, like there's some resources or just like additional information that you just need to know. To yeah. College. It's kind of like a one-on-one uh, you know, guide. Joey, you can say hello to Hannah from Little Rock. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> All right. So right now we are coming up on the computer lab. Okay. Which is a great resource for students. Um, also, this is where you can get um, printing. So every student will have a $35 printing quota and their fees. And I think that's like roughly 750 black and white pages. I've never went over my limit, so you have freedom um, to print whatever you need for class. So that's super convenient. It's right in the residence hall. So that's yeah. awesome. And is it true that people use it from other halls too? Yeah, in the nearby area? Yeah, on the campus can use it. So even if you had a friend that you need to come over here, they can go print some off here yeah. as well. Awesome. Yeah, and it's open from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, but honestly, we leave it a little, a little later for y'all. So. <laughs> Indeed. Perfect. And then recycling is on most of the floors, is that right, Joy? Yes, we have a recycling bin on every single floor. Um, uh, it's usually in a giant cart, so you'll see, um, I think there are uh, green carts you'll see, but we also have these on the first floor of every, every building. Um, if you see these, if you need to break down your boxes or you need to recycle the cardboard, uh, we ask you to break it down. Don't just leave a giant box on the TV. Uh, you, you know, need to throw away from moving, break it down, and uh, put it on the first floor where you see these little bins. Um, that would be a great help for all of our ISA and uh, our maintenance staff. They really appreciate when you guys do that. And during the move-in weekend itself, I think we have special designated areas for cardboard. Yes, so, yes. So that will all be outside. Because there's a lot of cardboard. There is a Tons lot of, of cardboard. cardboard. Yes. <laughs> so right now, we are in the music room. It's super awesome. There's a little drum set and mm -hmm. a piano. Yeah. So if you're musical or you just want to try to be musical, you can come down here and check it out. 
I played violin once upon a time when I was like really young. What about you, Joe? You play an instrument? Oh, no, no. Nope. No, no? <laughs> Never. Chanting? No musical bones in my body. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. So we'll show off that there. there's a classroom, I think, yeah. here. So back here, there are some classrooms and some conference rooms. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Wild, but um, super nice, also convenient. If you live in the hall, uh, that would be pretty cool if you could just walk downstairs and go to class. Yeah, so, pretty convenient. Yeah. And if you end up joining Lean Hall, so that's typically where we meet um, at 6 o'clock every, uh, every Monday. What is Lead Hogs? Yeah, Lead Hogs is a great opportunity for freshmen. Uh, well, it's not just for freshmen, it's for upperclassmen as well. Uh, but it's kind of like a a startup, you know, organization to, to really gain uh, additional leadership skills mm -hmm. um, and get more involved on campus. Um, I supervise the RAs who help me run the Lead Hogs of the Northwest Quad. Uh, but there is Lead Hogs for every building. Okay. Yeah. Great. So it's a great opportunity if you want to get involved, be the voice of your, uh, be the voice of the building. You guys give you uh, funding to write bills, and, uh, to make all improvements, and put on programs. Um, like like government. Yeah, it's kind of like the whole government. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very cool. And where are you from originally? Uh, I'm from Canton, Georgia. Canton, uh, Georgia? Yeah, so I just moved out here last May after finishing up my, uh, my master's. Okay, what'd you study? I studied uh, civil engineering in undergrad at Kansas State, and then I studied uh, higher education at Mercer. Oh, very good. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like living here? Oh, I love Fayetteville. It's a awesome. great area. Uh, got basically everything you need. Sure. Honestly, yeah. So I really appreciate it. Yeah, I thought I'd point out that you were moving out of the common area here yes. and into a residential zone, so you had to use your fob to get in here. Yeah, so um, fob, there would be one of these little gray things, it would be a little black circular, a mm -hmm. um, little patio, it will give you a, an addition to your room key. Um, that gets you the access into the residential side. As you can see in Morgan Hall, the first floor is like community space, we have a uh, dining hall, the rest of the buildings. Uh, you don't need actual fob to get into this building until after midnight, mm -hmm. um, just because this area, but you'll need to use a fob to get into residential places. Okay, okay, yeah. thanks for that explanation. So what floor are we on? We are on the second floor mm -hmm. of Morgan Hall. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we have on the, here on the floors. So how would you describe the uh, Northwest Quad community? Um, I would say it's like, uh, well, the best uh, compliments I get from the residents and why they really enjoy living here is kind of the privacy they get. They the get privacy. their own bedroom, uh, mm -hmm. which is one of the few places on campus as a freshman you can have that opportunity. Um, the rooms are spacious. They have they only share have to share a bathroom with their suite mate next door to them. Mm -hmm. um, they have a nice little living room. Um, every floor has a, a every building has a community kitchen in case you really enjoy cooking um, and a little lobby space. Uh, they also really love the convenience of living in the Northwest Quad. We got Small Mart and the bookstore right across uh, the street from us. Mm -hmm. And it's not that far from the Union. Uh, and we have a dining hall inside our residence hall. So can't beat that. Yeah. Kind of self-contained. Right. Yeah. So right now we are in a little kitchen area. Mm -hmm. um, you do have a oven and a stove. So if you ever want to bake cookies, frozen pizza, you're good to go. You also have a full fridge and a sink in here. Just super awesome. If you don't want to bring your own mini fridge, you can use the full fridge. Just be sure to put your name on things yes. so they don't get taken. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, standard refrigerator etiquette applies. Yes. And then you have this nice little space. What do most students use this space for? Um, a good bit of the students use it kind of a, a study space typically. Uh, we have these in the little study rooms in Morgan Hall on the third and fourth floors. Okay. Uh, but usually they, I see them take come over here and study. Um, they have their own living room. Uh, in their room, so yeah. they're typically use that space yeah. um, if they want to like watch something on TV. But occasionally, we'll do small little programming out here. The RA will okay. sit out here and have a little like kind of office hours for you to come talk to and stuff. Yeah. Okay. We got a question from Bill, and he's having a little trouble uh, connecting to it, but uh, to this uh, thing. But he's, uh, he wants to know how tall the beds can loft from the floor to the bottom of the bed, and we will get to that question yes. as soon as we're in a room. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for asking the question, Bill. And how soon after the tour will this be available on YouTube or for review? Usually 24 hours. We get it up within 24 hours or so. Yeah. 
And Channing, you're in your last year at the university, is that correct? My last year. Yeah, what's, what's next for you yeah. as a graduate? Mm -hmm. um, my degree is communication and it's pretty broad, so there's so many ways I can go with it. Um, so I'm going to use this last year to really explore my options, um, try to get an internship, and mm -hmm. see what I like, um, and hopefully I figure it out. <laughs> sure, very good plans. Yeah. Okay. We're going up to the third floor, correct? Yes. yes. So we've got about 30 people tuning in. Let us know where you're from. We want to call out your city. Okay. So we are on the third floor now, and we are going to show you guys the laundry room. So super nice and clean in here. Mm -hmm. um, an awesome thing about this campus is we have an app called Laundry Alert. So basically, you can download the app on your phone, or you can use it on the computer, and you can put in what number machine you are using to wash or dry your clothes, and it will give you a notification um, when your clothes are done. So you don't have to wait or wonder when your clothes are done. The app will, will tell you automatically, which is awesome. Um, there's also a little folding table. Um, yeah. I know when I do my laundry, I like to fold it immediately or it won't get folded so that's a good good tip <laughs> for um, sure um janet from little rock says hello and so does Jaden from springdale and carmen from pocahontas and dean from little rock we have a lot of arkansas folks here we're covering the state there we go <laughs> yeah also um you do not have to bring like coins or quarters um, for laundry here because your laundry is included in your fees Mm -hmm. your housing fees so that's really nice you don't have to worry about um gathering up loose change you can just um you do have to bring your own detergent though um but if you just bring your clothes detergent you're good to go yeah so. any thoughts on laundry are you a big laundry guy <laughs> I have my own, thankfully. I live on campus, have my own apartment and laundry to There you go. Uh, so pods are highly recommended. Yes. We, uh, we feel that those are just clean and easy to use. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. So that, that really, and, and bringing your own detergent, of course, yes. yeah. Um, Maddie from Fort Townsend, uh, Oklahoma. So yeah, got a couple people tuning in. Yeah. So we'll go look at a room now. Yeah. Is that next? Okay. And there are also uh, trash chutes located on every single floor, mm -hmm. uh, for the most part. I see maybe one floor is missing a trash chute, just have to go up the steps, uh, which is really nice. Uh, during the year, uh, you don't have to walk all the way outside the dumpster to throw away your trash chute. You just go straight down the hallway and uh -huh. put down the trash chute. Very nice, very nice. So the floors are carpeted here. Are they carpeted in most of the halls, Joey? Um, the hallways are all carpeted, um, mm -hmm. but thankfully the, the bedroom is not. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we are going to be going in room 216. 216. So this is your room. Welcome in. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So this is a little living room space, um, and you will share this with yourself and three other rooms. Um, you have a nice counter space. You also have um, some storage behind here and a cabinet up here, so that's nice. Guess what? Hannah said that's my room. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> the right one. All right, we picked the right Hannah. one. Hannah, uh-huh, awesome. yeah. Welcome. Yeah, that's Hannah, so cool. this is your room. Awesome. Um, yeah, so let me give them like a nice circular yeah. view of that. You also have the cable box over there. Mm-hmm. Um, up your TV if you want to bring one. Nice view. This is towards the north, and that's the parking lot. Um, Joey, there's a question about is there a laundry room on every floor or just one per hall? No. And I think it's... Go ahead. Yeah, so um, Gatewood and Harding have their laundry on the first floor, um, and then uh, Morgan and Clark, they actually connect, like the buildings connect to each other. Um, so you'll have a laundry... Uh, uh, there's two laundry floor, uh, floors that have laundry mm -hmm. on it. And so that's the second floor of Clark, which connects to the third floor of Morgan, and the third floor of Clark, which connects to the fourth floor of Morgan. Um, so, yeah. 
And after two weeks here, they'll totally know what you mean by yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, they'll see when they get They'll see it. But yes, there's plenty of, plenty of laundry. Now, we did get that one question earlier, and I want to be sure we address that. Um, he was asking about how tall the beds can loft from the floor to the bottom of the bed, and in what increments the bed may be raised. So we're really talking about lofting the beds and kind of maximum height and increments of height. I don't know. We can address that as best we can here by measuring, mm -hmm. but we may have to follow back up yeah. in the comments to make sure we get that completely answered. Well, let's go ahead and take a look and see these beds. Yeah. Yeah. So this will be a typical room. Mm -hmm. So of course you have your bed and your desk, which comes with a desk chair, and you have a set of drawers on both sides. Would you mind opening the drawers? Yeah. I think it's underneath there? Okay. Yeah. So yeah, these are so big drawers. Yeah. They go back pretty far. So that's nice. Um, and then behind you, you have a little wardrobe. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. Super nice. So you have the rod up there and two drawers underneath. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you also have a little cork board. So that's cool if you wanted to put pictures or, I don't know, reminders for class. <laughs> Greg has a couple questions for yeah. us. He's asking, does each person have their own closet? Yes. 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 Are there drawers in the bathroom cabinets? And as a matter of fact, we can go take a look if yeah. we want in the bathroom. Head out here. And so each, each resident has their own um, wardrobe in here and also closet out the hallway. Yeah. But which does lock up. So a ton of closet space. A ton of closet space. Um, yes. Yeah. So are there drawers in the bathroom cabinet? Um, there are cabinets. Um, do these open? Uh, that does not. Okay. Yeah. So there's just cabinets. You have two cabinets under each sink. Mm -hmm. um, so that's good to know. We also have a little rack up here um, for hand towel Yeah. on both sides. And then asks, um, this is Greg asks, how many walls have outlets? And as far as outlets go, I'm sure there's quite a few in the personal room. There's one beside each sink. Okay. So if you have any hot tools, you have mm -hmm. that. In the rooms? Uh, there's one per a wall. One per wall. One per wall. And then one. some in the common space, too, yes. I would imagine. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then asks... Um, how many wall? Oh yeah, so height from the top of the wardrobe to the ceiling, and I would imagine we're talking about right in there. Yeah. You get that going. Yeah. Thanks for the assist here. Can I go on the bed? Let's see if you can go. Can you go from the very bottom? Yeah, just just shoot it up there all the way. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That works. See if you can make that work. Uh, twenty-five. Tw twenty-five inches. Twenty-five. Okay. And then the height of the chest of drawers. And I'm assuming the chest this of drawers would be, yeah. This one. Mm -hmm. This one is, let's get this whole thing. Uh, 30 inches. Okay, 30 inches right there. Yeah. And then Dean asks, what are the dimensions of the cabinet under the sink? Okay. So we'll go I ahead and grab that too. Right. Yeah. yeah. You want the height? Or? We want the, uh, the yep, depth. the dimensions of the cabinet of the sink. So, yeah, basically height. The height is about 22 inches. To the lip there, is that right? Yeah. To that lip, okay. And then do they have space underneath that they can go into? Like, does it go underneath the lip and lift back up again? Okay. Oh, yeah, wait, there's a little bit more. Okay. okay. Never mind. Uh, 28 inches. 28 inches. To the top. And then do you mind giving us an across and yep. a depth? So, in all three dimensions. Thanks. Uh, also about 29 inches. 29, okay. Yeah. And then the, the depth How in this direction? Mm -hmm. yeah. 22 and a half, all the way back. Okay, there you go, Dean. Um, Amy asks, are the ceilings eight feet? And most of them are uh, eight foot ceilings. Do you mind if we, can we, can we try to get a measurement on the ceiling just to make sure? You can work together there and
Perfect. About 90 inches. 90 inches. Do the math. <laughs> By 12, <laughs> right? It's right around there. Um, yeah. <laughs> we're not math majors, but 90 inches divided by 12. Um, and then Addie asks, if the bed is not lofted, what is the height of the space under the bed when it's not lofted? And we have this bed doesn't seem to be lofted, so it's a good example. And they can move the bed up. Yeah. Each little, area, uh, little notch right here. It's about three inches, if I recall correctly, uh, between those notches. Okay. And but, so, and another thing, uh, uh, the person who's asking about the beds and stuff like that, you can get these beds lofted on top of each other, so it can be like, not a bunk bed, but you can loft on top of it. I definitely recommend if you want to do that uh, before you get here, you can. You can just fill out a maintenance request online, ask for a room, um, and then say, I want my bed lofted together. Um, that way, when you get here, you don't have to do it yourself. Um, uh, it's a little nice, a little easier to move in progress for you. Uh, but if you do get here and um, you want to go ahead and loft it and do it yourself, you can just go to the front desk and ask for some bed lofting pins. Sure. Mm -hmm. And um, you go to housing.uart.edu, fix it. Correct. We'll get you to the maintenance request you need mm -hmm. to fill out. Um, yeah. You have to do that by the end of this month mm -hmm. um, yes. to guarantee that they will loft your bed. So, um, Annie asks if the bed is not lofted, what is the height of the space under the bed? Yeah. Okay. And that's just depending on which notch you put it on. But sure, yeah. yeah. Be so this this particular one, which is at what, the fourth or fifth notch, maybe the third notch? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. yeah. Just go so inside one, on there. Yeah. This one's eight, or to the top is 25. Okay, that's include the mattress. So yeah. what about to the just the metal? To right the here? metal is 18. 18, 18 inches, inches right there, so. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Um... When the bedroom door is open, how much space is between the open door and the desk? So when the bedroom door is open, how much space is between the open oh, door? Oh, right here? Mm-hmm. Uh, seven inches? Seven inches, seven inches. okay, okay. Right and then let's go ahead and close it real quick and try that one too, just to give it both. Yeah, sure. Yeah. We like these questions, thanks for asking. Uh, 41, 42 inches. 42 inches, yeah. okay. In this configuration. Now keep in mind all the furniture is movable, so you can move yeah. this as you wish. Yeah. Um, okay, Hannah asked, can I, could I get a quick glimpse of the room beside that one? So I think we can go, what, one more room over? And we also haven't showed the, the toilet and the shower. Okay, toilet. let's go ahead and do that yeah. real quick. Yeah, so here is your bathroom that mm -hmm. you will share the person next to you. Mm -hmm. Um, so toilet, standard shower, um, comes with a shower curtain if you don't want to bring one. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Um, it does have two, uh, two towel racks as well. Mm -hmm. um, and you're definitely going to want to keep this clean yourself. We do not come in and clean it up except right. once a year. So you'll want to you maintain that with you and your roommate. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, and then we'll go ahead and check out the room beside the mm -hmm. one that we were just in. So, very similar. It's basically just flipped. Um, but again, you can move your furniture to wherever wherever you can fit it, mm -hmm. um, however you want it. So. Perfect. Okay, we've got a few, few more questions coming in. Yeah. Um, Alicia asks if we could get the width of the small side table under the desk so and the that's the small side table yeah. under the desk yes is uh 16 inches i would say okay yeah. also the dimensions of the space between the uh, bed and the desk so right here mm -hmm. and that's kind of pushed back flush right on that side it's it's pretty flush isn't yeah. it with the Here, here is uh, 31 inches. 31 inches, okay. There we go. Um, Greg asked, does each bedroom have an individual thermostat? Uh, they... No, it's just the, the, the whole suite. And it's located in the common area. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's that thermostat. Awesome. Um, we also have... Can you use monkey hooks on the walls? Um, if you're talking about command strips and everything like that, 
Um, I highly suggest not doing it, uh, just because unless you, if you do it, please, please, please read the instructions, because if you do not, you will tear paint off the wall, and we do not want that. Because so, there will be a charge for There that. will be a charge for that. So um, if you do do it, and if you do it correctly, you should be fine when you take it off, as long as you put it on correctly and do that, but I still recommend not using command strips. Yeah, they can be a bit of a challenge, yeah. and that's with our paint and everything like that. Well, that was a good number of our questions. Feel free to hit us up with more questions if you have them. We'll take a final um, spin around the community room here. Yeah. Have you seen how people decorate this room? I mean, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, pretty normal stuff. Like, uh, Where does the television usually go? The television usually goes on right here. Okay. Yeah. Because it's right next to the uh, yeah. cable box right, right there. Right next to the cable box and the Ethernet port. Yeah. So Greg assisted here and said, you can use monkey hooks. He verified it with the facilities director. Just um, again, the caution there is that there'll be any damage to the wall. Yeah. If you use them, just as, um, as, as he said, if you use them correctly, it should be a problem, but be aware. Yeah. And there's also a nice little spot on the show that sure. yeah. any fridge right here. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Some people leave the bar stool right here or they put it on the side of it, but there's a nice little space that uh, the fridge can fit. Yeah, oh, fantastic. And cabinetry right there, and more cabinetry down there. Great. There's a lot of storage in here, which is awesome. Um, plenty of places to put your stuff, so that's always cool. Absolutely. All right, well, you have anything to say to the incoming students? So oh, I'm excited for y'all to get here. It's going to be an amazing year. Very, very excited. All right, you might yeah. sign us off. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to see where we will be next, you can go to housing or sorry, movement.uark.edu and you can see the full schedule of tours. Um, also, if you want to see more of Fulbright Dining Hall, we will be doing a UARC Home Live um, dedicated to the dining halls. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yep, right? to dining. Huh? Okay. I think um, we'll be on the south side of campus at the. Uh, in the re in the renovated Pomfret space. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, I forgot about that. But do tune into that because that will be really cool. Um, so thanks again for watching. If you have any more questions, please comment them, and we will go back after we're not live and answer those. And yeah, have a great day. All right, thank you.